What's it like to work with these ladies who, you know, who come back all the time? Well, it's joyful. You know, they have their moments like anybody else, but when they're happy, I'm happy. You know, I like to see women smile and. So, do you help them pick out things? No, I give them. I'm a, I'm a fashion consultant. They call me because I say you look nice in that dress or that looks beautiful, stunning, magnificent, you know, breathtaking, you know, anything to keep them smiling and coming back. That's, they're, they're our, you know, our, the customers are our main, you know, our main thing. You know, without them we don't have a, job, a business. Because it's not easy. I mean, when it's a sale day, it's crazy. He has to count how many items each person brings into the dressing room and make sure that they leave with the same amount of items. Um, he has these little numbered cards that he puts on each door to keep track of how many um, items each person brings in. And this store, you saw how busy it is. It, it gets it gets slammed over there in the dressing rooms, and it keeps um, up with all of it. I clean them out in the morning. I I clean the benches, the first benches, the little ones and I clean the mirrors, and then I clean the big benches inside the dressing rooms. You know, I get my numbers and my, my best, you know, one to six numbers, and then I rotate the, the clothes. If they're out of order, I put them in the right order by colorization, by the tags. We were able to bring Ben in to do a job tryout first, which there's a special contract with that agency where he can come in and uh, try out the job and see if he liked it, get paid for it, and. Uh, and if he liked it, they would hire him if there was a position open. And, and he impressed the manager, Mira, um, a lot. And so she wanted to hire him right away. No matter what job we put him in, he, he caught on quickly. Ben is somebody who always wants to do the best at his job. He always wants to do the right thing. Yeah, and I take my job seriously. And as for fun, too. But there's time for joking and horsing around and time for buckling down and doing what you have to do. In March he just had a performance evaluation done and he got a, he got a good increase, um, something he'd been asking me about for months before that. I mean the money is the motivation, you know, the money keeps me going. You know, everybody says, well you don't get paid a lot, you don't need to get paid a lot to be, enjoy, you know, and just budget it, you know, budget it and do the best you can with it and it'll be alright. Now he wants to be a donor greeter, um, which is the um, where donations are dropped off and then he helps them unload their car. Um, and we're going to let him try that out a couple of times, see if he likes it. I, he, whatever he does, he's going to be successful at it. But then we're going to have trouble replacing him at the, at the dressing rooms. Tell me about um, working with um, Canada. She's a good person, you know, Morgan also. He, he was my job coach in the beginning. You know, he helped me get this job. I worked for three years for a job. My goal is to get my license in a car. And she's like, okay. So we set that as a goal, and I completed that goal. So I've been driving for three years. I've had 48 oper major surgeries and 28 major surgeries on my body. Hey, you know, I might be disabled and have disabilities, but you can't let that stop you. You gotta be your own person and be proud for who you are. And, you know, and be happy for what you have because you might not have it one day. Um, I can't think of any negatives yet. I haven't run across any, but I've only, you know, I've only been doing this for 22 years, so I'm sure I'll come across one. <laughs>